Hey guys, welcome back to Cinetopic Alton Day here with Strange Wing, and today we're reacting to DC Showcase's Batman Death in the Family, an interactive movie. That's interesting. We save lives every day, strangers. And there's always enough time. But I failed to save Jason from this life. Red Hood sequel. Joker got a hold mm -hmm. of stolen uranium and selling it to terrorists. He's going to take Batman and Robin together to close this case. You take them down while I investigate that warehouse we tracked Joker to. <laughs> Please tell the big man I said hello. <laughs> I alone will become more than the dreams and nightmares they imagined for me. Red knowledge of my tactics, my history. This was getting personal. Joker showed me the truth. Evil can't be cured. Only kill. <laughs> Burn in hell, Two Face. Red Robin awaits a verdict. Life or death. of my choice I had to avoid repeating mistakes I like what they did with this with the interactive thing the trailer it wasn't in your face yeah as much as I thought it would be like I didn't because hearing seeing it immediately I'm like oh it's gonna be a gimmick they really pushed for it they used dialogue in the film that obviously works in the film and to the trailer like Batman my choice very similar to what they did with Jason Todd's story back in the comic books back mm -hmm. in the day where fans sent in the like voting whether he dies or whether he lives. Mm -hmm. Obviously, chose he's, he he dies. So like this is like basically their backup plan of what could have been. Yeah. However, this is too little too late for me. Uh, Under the Red Hood is my favorite DC animated movie. It's very good. That's a fact. My favorite, hands down. And I'm just so burnt out of superhero movies in general. I even stopped buying the DC animated movies because it's just like I'm buying them and I'm not watching them. So there's no point in me buying them anymore. Mm -hmm. So I just I stopped buying those. So this is going to be a pass for me because there's so many comic book movies out there. Something I would love if there wasn't as many. Being that there is so many, I don't care. Yeah, I appreciate that. Like they also didn't shove that in your face. They really only showed what it looks like when you make a choice once, which was all yeah. we needed. And then they spent the rest of the time just trying to show you early scenes that could happen and. Maybe there's scenes that happen no matter what. Uh, so that's really interesting. I wonder how many different endings there are and like how many different possible paths there really are as well because uh, obviously you, you know me and I love video games and there are some excellent video games where decisions you make affect the rest of the game. So that's just a premise that's super interesting to me because it gives it replay value as well. You can go back and do different things and see what happens and what you missed the first time get more story uh that being said i i also really i mean not quite as much as you or at least you did but i love the dc animated universe period i mean it's phenomenal it's so good uh this one to be honest the voice acting felt kind of stiff i don't know if that if, if you felt that way or not it just didn't feel like as good as other stuff that i've seen i probably won't buy it but after it comes out i will definitely be on youtube watching what happens because i want to know what the story is and i just like i just don't have the time to invest in this with everything else that i already invest in and that's the only, really the only reason that i'm not getting it that's fair tell us what you think about this download in the comment section below scroll back up hit the like button share the video and subscribe <laughs>